Hello folks, so this is just an update on my XUAV Talon Pro. I have already done the long range flight with this bird and it was a success. So I have gone 40 kilometers out and a total of 99.3 kilometers for the entire flight. So before I go for to the details of that flight, I just want to give you some updates on the build, what changes I have done on this plane before the long range flight. So obviously you can see the nose canopy of this XUAV Talon Pro, I changed it to a canopy that can accommodate a panning servo or an optional pan and tilt servo. So the uh, tilt servo will be installed right here. So I just have to change this plate to the one that can accommodate the servo on top. So, but on this uh, setup, I opted for just panning servo, no tilting and for me it's already sufficient and also under the fuselage you can see here that i've installed this um, front skid so this one is made of petg material so this will absorb every impact or damage during landing also gives you a little bit of um, dip from the or clearance from the ground should it uh, land on, run, on rough surface so this will help also to protect the bottom part of this, the fuselage so this is in addition to the two layers of 5 mil laminating cover that I have placed on the belly of this fuselage on the side of the fuselage you'll see here this 3D printed wing spar support I have this on both sides of the fuselage so this prevents the wing spar from moving during the flight and of course uh, after some time you find this section of the foam getting loose because of uh, repeated insertions of the wing spar so this part will get loose some time so having this wing spar support will prevent such thing from happening and it will pre prevent also the unwanted movements of your wings Inside the fuselage, you'll see here the 3D printed battery tray. So this is meant to hold your battery pack. So for some, putting a Velcro tape here is sufficient. But if you're flying it with heavy packs like 6S3P 21700 cells, then this battery tray holder will be a lot more helpful in your setups. So you just have to add this straps uh, that are long enough to wrap around your battery. This is one of the major changes that I have done on this plane. So instead of having a peak shock flight that I had uh, before prior to Maiden, I replaced it with the Matek F405 WSE um, and flushed it with Arduplane instead. So this one is running now with Arduplane 4.09. So the good thing is that Matic boards, especially the F405 WSE, does not emit a lot of noise in the 433 MHz spectrum. So doing long range with this flight in tandem with your UHF radio is a lot more doable. So Matic F405 WSE is a good flight controller if you want to do long range flights. Along with the flight controller, I also replaced the GPS module by the Holybro M8N GPS. So this one has compass aside from having the U-Blocks module. So I placed it on this part of the fuselage, mounted it to the double-sided 3M tape and added a piece of fiber tape to secure it from being removed from this position.